Hey everyone, Skateboard Dad here today. And today I'm giving an updated review on the Pro Model from uh, Tiago Lemos and New Balance Numeric. And I skated the shoe for a while and I liked it so much that I got a second pair. I didn't completely wear through this shoe, but being the skateboard dad and everything, just to sort of be corny and play into it, I, I didn't wanna just like wear the shoe to the bone so that I could actually use them as my lawn mowing shoes. Cause I figured that would be a pretty fitting thing to be a dad and wear New Balances where, when you mow the lawn. Yeah, I'm gonna do an updated review. What I liked about the shoe, what I don't like about the shoe and what I think they could improve on. And also if this is a shoe that you should uh, consider buying or buying for a loved one. So if you haven't subscribed, I'm a skateboard dad. Hit subscribe, all that. Blah, blah, blah. Hit the like button. It helps videos or something like that. But I'm going to put these shoes on, go skate to the spot, and I'm going to try to learn slappy crooked grinds today. I know that's kind of a beginner trick, but I've never learned them. I don't know how to crooked grind, so I figure it'd be cool to start with some slappy crooks. I'm going to give that a shot and uh, let you know what I think about these shoes. So subscribe, baby. Let's do this. 20 degrees outside. <laughs> Let's do it. So I'm pretty excited about those slappy crooked grinds. Uh, they're not the best, whatever, and I went to fakey, so it's not the coolest thing in the world, but it's cool to me and it was fun. So now to the task at hand, we're talking about the Tiago Lemos 1010 New Balance. Uh, this is the gray day colorway. I've done a review on this shoe already, but I'm doing an updated review with the leather version. As you can tell by me buying two different colorways of the shoe, this is a shoe that I like. And I think that this is my favorite shoe that I've had in my adulthood in skateboarding. I think the reason for that, it's a couple of things. The durability for sure, like it's a durable shoe. Uh, you can see like the tray flip area, it's not just rounded off, but it's like, it's pretty deep cut. And if I if I were to keep going here, I think there would be a hole in between the midsole and the mud guard upper. Other than that, it's been really durable. I did start to get some fraying on the white laces of these, and I think that the gray ones look a lot worse. So that was another thing of me not wanting to wear these just because like the gray laces I think look kind of bad, make the shoe look a little bit worse. Yeah, other than that, there's really not that much wear that really happened. Along this piping, there's like this 3M piping right here on some switch heels that sort of frayed and got pulled out, whatever, it's fine. A little bit on like this little spot right here, a little wear there from whatever I do that makes it do that. Along the ollie area here, there is triple stitching that goes along this mud guard, which is really nice, and it took a long time for me to even get through this. And the suede is super thick, so I didn't get a hole, and then you have this plastic part under there, which is, makes it so durable. The only thing about this shoe that made me retire them was the tread on the bottom. As you can see, I'm about to wear through on the forefoot area underneath the balls of my toes or balls of my feet, I'm sorry. I, I'm just not into that. And I, I wanted to keep these shoes because they're super comfortable and I just wanted to mow the lawn in them. So now they're my lawn mowing shoes. I think the thing that made this my favorite skate shoe was how wide the heel cup is of this shoe. It's a cup sole around the heel, the, the part that cups your heel of the shoe. Like one, it's so well constructed in here that it, it just holds your heel and your Achilles area so well so that it just adds this crazy amount of stability. Also like right here, it's so wide. Like look at the surface area of this. If you would compare this to like a Vans, a Vans is super thin back here and it tapers inward. So like if you have a, a Janowski, like a, a Nike SB, whatever, it's a lot thinner back here and it's straight on either side. As you can see with this, it sort of flares outward on each side and it's super wide, wider than the top of the shoe. It has more surface so that it won't tip over and roll as easily. And if you look at something like a Vans, like a, any typical Vans shoe, 
will be a lot thinner than this in the back, tapers downward. It tapers inward as you move to the outsole of the shoe, which makes the surface area of your foot making contact on the pavement or the board a lot less. And my theory is if you have less surface area underneath your heel, making contact with whatever you're making contact with, your board or the pavement, you have a larger chance of tipping over and rolling your ankle. I've got weak ankles and that happens to me quite a bit. And what's so awesome out about this shoe is I have not rolled my ankle once in them. I haven't even come close, um, which is, I don't know if it's just coincidence, but it's like, if it's not broke, then I'm not gonna fix it. So, and plus I really like the way the shoe looks. I know New Balance hasn't historically been the coolest company in the world and people call them dad shoes, whatever. I just really like this shoe and I love this colorway so much more than the gray day colorway. And I think it's because of the contrast on the shoe. Like this is a pretty low contrast shoe. There's nothing to really pop out about it, especially once it got dirty and became more like beige than gray. Uh, but. What's cool about this one is it's the first leather shoe I've skated since the Andrew Reynolds 3 on America. I was a little worried about the wear and how quickly these would wear. Um, it, it seems like they probably will wear down a little bit more quickly than the suede version. As you can see, hopefully, um, there's definitely a lot of wear in the ollie and kickflip areas there. On my switch foot, nollie foot. Um, where I do Nolly 360 flips or Nolly flips, I'm getting a lot of wear there. But I think it honestly looks cooler than the wear that happens on just like the suede version. For some reason, I, I think it looks cooler. One thing that I did notice that is a bit of wear that is like kind of annoying, but not, not that bad. Like just on my pushing foot, I noticed that like when I were to flex here to push, this area right here sort of didn't become unstitched but unglued a little bit and it just sort of took away some of the structure to the toe uh, which was maybe good in some ways but it just kind of looks bad but I, I feel like it's sort of like a give and take with skate shoes you want to have a shoe that looks good but you also want one that performs well and once you skate a shoe it begins to perform even better because it's broken in and it's it's sort of molded to your foot and at that point it just looks like trash anyway because grip tape kills shoes. The shoe, seriously, like these pods back here, I don't know if you can see them, they're like these little blue pods. They hold in your heel so well. The stability in the shoe is perfect. That's probably the main plus for the shoe, the comfort and the stability. And I think it's like a cool kind of retro 90s-ish looking style. The materials are really, really good. Um, this colorway, unfortunately, didn't come with a second pair of laces. The only downfall to this shoe that I can tell after skating them for a few months is I had to get my true to size 11. I measure an 11, but some shoes I wear a 10 and a half. I went with the 11 with these because the 10 and a half, the, the toes were a little bit too tight. What I found with these was I had to tie them super tightly because I found that they started to feel a little bit loose. And that's really not that big of an issue, but I found that if I, I tie my shoes too tightly, it sort of scrunches up the tendons on the instep of my foot that can sort of mess with your toes, it can mess with the instep, it can mess with your ankle, it can really just mess with the interaction of all the muscles and tendons of your foot when your instep is too constricted. So I sort of just bit the bullet. I picked my poison of having a little bit looser of a shoe, but I found that it, it's performed really well even when I wear it loosely. Yeah, one downfall is the fit seems to be a little loose after you break them in. The only way to really combat that is either to go a half size down, which I definitely would not recommend doing, and then also just to tie tightly the part that um, lies on the instep, and that has its downfalls as well. But I think definitely go true to size with these if you're thinking about getting a pair. If you wanna learn about the technology of the shoe, whatever, I would go back and watch my other review of this shoe. This is more just an updated review to see if I like the shoe and just sort of reporting back on how it's performed for me. Um, the flick is really good. The impact protection is good for what I do. I'm not jumping down things. I love this shoe and unless something goes terribly wrong with this shoe, I'm going to keep skating this shoe for a very long time. Should you buy this shoe or should you buy it for someone for the holidays? Yeah. In fact, buy me a pair. That'd be pretty nice. That's the thing that sucks about these shoes is they're pretty expensive. Um, I think they're like a hundred bucks. I mean, I, I got mine on sale, whatever. The thing that's so great about them is once you're done skating them, you can retire them and mow the lawn in them. 
or uh, go to a backyard barbecue in them because New Balance is the shoe of dads. Tiago Lemos and New Balance did a really good job with the shoe. And if you're thinking about going to get a pair, go get them at your local skate shop or go to like paradeworld.com. Um, I'm not sponsored by them or the, there's no affiliate link or anything with Parade World. But what's cool about Parade World is they they source their shipping through local skate shops. So when you buy something online, you're actually buying it from a skate shop that is tied to a community that's investing in the skate scene. That's pretty much the whole thing. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, Tiago Lemos, New Balance, great shoe, love it. Um, I'm gonna keep skating it unless uh, someone sends me some free shoes, in which case I will sell out immediately. Even if it's like Karyuma. If Karyuma send, sends me a free pair of shoes, I'll skate those to the ground, even if I roll my ankle in them. Thanks for watching, subscribe.